Prince Harry, is he now finally admitting that he's made a huge mistake? And what about? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. I hope you're keeping well, and thank you as ever for joining me. Now, behind me today, if you're a fan of British comedy, you're going to love this particular building, simply because it is iconic in many ways. It's the home of the original writing team that gave us such greats as the Goons. Now, some might say the royal story today could be related to that, but I'll move on quickly. This building here is the building that Spike Milligan, uh, Eric Sykes, Michael Benteen, and of course, the wonderful singer, Harry Seacombe, also ventured into to write such comedy hits. Now, I was lucky enough to meet Eric Sykes, and he told me that he would get off the 94 bus at the top of the road here and simply walk down, and by the time he got to the door, he'd more or less got an idea for the likes of Frankie Howard, Benny Hill, all those comedy greats. But back to our own current comedy great, the one and only former royal Prince Harry. Well, it appears that Prince Harry has decided, yes, indeed, he possibly did make a huge mistake. Now, the mistake really centres on a recent video that was released by his wife called 40 Times 40, which she celebrated her 40th birthday by, of course, well, celebrating in her own unique style, offering 40 minutes to people via Melissa McCarthy, who uh, people maybe who are struggling to get back into work, you know, difficult problems after the pandemic, a very worthy cause and really a noble cause, but of course, with a lot of backlash attached to that. Now, Prince Harry made a very brief appearance in this scripted sketch. Now, let me point that out. This is a scripted sketch. It's not something that he just sat down and thought, oh, we'll just do this at the last moment. According to a very good source out in LA, Prince Harry came forward and said, well, what about if I do this? But I think also the fact that that's the only thing he could offer to the plate seems really strange, given his pedigree as a member of the senior British royals and still remains so, let me tell you. So, of course, it was agreed that Harry would pop up at the end with a scripted comedy moment, Juggling Limes. Now, here's where it's got really interesting. It appears that Prince Harry didn't count on all the backlash that was going to ensue of people mocking him for simply bringing some light relief. That's the story coming out of LA. And he thought he was just really adding to a bit of fun on a rather serious topic. As you could see, Meghan Markle was laughing alongside Melissa McCarthy. And that was all, of course, pre-planned and everybody knew exactly what was going to happen, when he would pop up, what he would wear and what he would do. But Harry's now concerned that he's been made a mockery of, and rightly so. He is, as I say, and still remains a senior member of the British world. He should really know to behave better than that. When William and Kate do something funny, it is slightly more spontaneous. And people will say, oh, well, you're just taking sides. But no, you know, you have to be careful what you're going to do. What I am told now by his very close sources who are working with his PR teams is we're going to see a little bit more of a serious side to Prince Harry, as if we haven't seen one enough with all that genetic pain. But something that shows more of a side of, well, somebody who knows exactly how to behave in public. And if he is going to do something funny, why not replicate something like what he did when he sat with Her Majesty the Queen? Remember? Remember that phone call with the Obamas and he turned to camera and said boom that was funny even though that was scripted for Harry apparently he's licking his wounds simply because well she's come out of it incredibly well and by she I mean Meghan Markle it looks once again that Prince Harry's been made to look a right royal fool Neil Sean in the very heart of London